everybody, and welcome back to another episode of L.A. Noir. Now, when we last left off, I, uh, hmm, kind of messed up a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Only a slight, slight bit. I really messed up. Like, it was bad. But anyway, we're gonna, uh, remedy that by following her vehicle. And make sure that nobody almost hits us. Wait. No. Ballard is definitely up to something. Wait, is it the yeah, it's Mint Green. <laughs> Why was I like Is it the red card? They ever hit the brakes ball. Some room. Yeah, go in some room. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Now she's doing pretty good. I, mean, I wish her health had happened. Like nobody. Here knows how to drive. Nobody. I don't want to do it again. Seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Yep. And she has eyes like a hawk. How dare she notice me so quick? That would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. I backed up so she wouldn't see me. Don't comment on my driving like I'm doing it wrong. How about you shut up? It's like now. Yeah. Finally! Uh, Get in there and see what she's up to. I don't wanna. It's fine. Two club family. Thank you, Lake. I was gonna sit down in the booth! What are you doing? Ah! 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 Messed it up again! Can't take it anymore! <laughs> I'm done! Get in there and see what she's up to. Well, um. <laughs> take cover at the door. Like, that's probably the least suspicious thing. Boy, let's take it to the better page. Go ahead. Pick up the phone. Stop paying attention to me. Incognito mode. Quickly. I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark... Bishop, that son of a bitch! Hey, 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 what's the language? Sure, I got the film. Man, this is a really interesting article on canned ham. Nobody noticed me right now! I'm being incognito! Nobody noticed me! My voice. Hmm. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. No, no. Got an address. Mm, no. Wilson's no. Hotel. We're gonna do it this way. You can drive. Exactly. Because I hate driving. I hate crashing into things. 
not a story. Yeah. She didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds this like is Mark a case like drift. a drift. Drifting is my favorite thing to do. I got in an games. address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit. You better step on it. He's got any you. sense. He'll be as far You're the away one from driving. As if he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. <laughs> McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at him, bro. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. I mean, not the language I would use, but yeah. Well, Ballard was doing someone a favor. Why did they try to kill her? I don't know, but all you I really want to skip this. <clears throat> this should support me. 9.53 a.m. Go, Cole, go! Click, 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 click. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Which floor? Did he say? I'm assuming the 8th, because that's how every building I've ever known does it. Sounds like, like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. To the left, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm stupid, I know. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm alright now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. Mm. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. All right. Let's gumshoe the place out of this place. Wait. 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 Yes. I don't think this is anything. Hey, it's a very, very expensive looking vase. Don't tell me it's nothing. Hey, 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 hey. Where do you walk? Good, because... I don't think so. Uh, what? You need Jesus most of all. Okay. Okay, um... Presented to Mark. <laughs> is that this movie? Is that this game's version of Brokeback Mountain? Like. <laughs> <clears throat> Unless they meant gay as in happy, which I think that's what they meant back then whenever they. Can, can I? Thank you. What do you have to do to earn $20,000? I don't know, but I'm half willing to do it. Maybe. Unless I end up like the girl, which that'd be terrible. Not everything here is going to be relevant. But hair nets have something to do with it. I mean, uh, come on. This isn't what we're Hey, that color is beautiful. Thank you Doesn't very tell much. Me anything. Tells me I'm gonna be a rich, rich man for stealing it. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> like that's my favorite response out of all of his. It's just nope. No, I'm not playing this game. Wooden spork and food or fork and spoon. Did I say spork and food? My brain's not braining right now. Excuse me. It's a clap. Optimistic call. Hey, I picked it up because he picked it up. I would have left it alone. But no. I 
planet Dingle Dang. It did. Looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Huh. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. All right. Putting that down in our brain cabinet. Yeah. Whoa. Incidental. Yeah, I'll have to agree with you on that one. Wait, have we checked this room yet? Whoop. Whoop. Um. It would take us murder man than me to connect that. Well, I mean, it's obviously not a robbery because there's cash lying on the floor. I don't think this is going to help us. That, that's a good connection! Like, I've seen it in cop shows all the time. I mean, I can't be that no, stupid, not. right? Oh, well, whatever. Whoop. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Take a smarter man than me to connect that. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. <laughs> a replica of a replica. What a lovely view. I wonder if ma Ma'am, I think you need to have both of these doors open. It just lets it lets the feeling Let's ask her some questions before time runs out on this video. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. You're lying to cover for your husband. Do you know what you'll get for aiding and abetting? I've been abused and slapped, and now I'm accused of lying? Yeah. Standard stuff. Um... Looks like I made a mistake. Yeah. I think I'll go with doubt. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. <laughs> oh, people in the background. Ugh. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. You're lying, Gloria. He knows he has to get out of town, and you're covering for him. I'm tired of this, and you have nothing to go on. You're right, which is why I'm half tempted to doubt. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. <laughs> In other words, you have to bullcrap around until you scare people enough. Uh, doubt. You are complicit. Uh, in all uh, happens in this why am I so you bad at this? Body. I need to find your husband. Why'd you come to Hollywood, detective? Handsome young man like you might find a little something in the movies. You've never thought about it? No, I haven't. Well, then you must be the only person in this burg who hasn't. We're born into temptation, detective. It's character that determines what we do about it. Hmm. Bullcrap, but hmm. 
Alright. Let's ask about the check. In the next episode! So if you like this, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. I love you. Just know that. I love you guys. And as always, thank you, I love you, and oh, bye bye